Every night, you have the chance to cultivate a bedtime routine that brings you on a mental vacation. You have earned it, and you deserve an escape that a sleep story can provide. Tonight, find yourself immersed in the whispers of the fog, in the sleep story for grown-ups that will bring you to a magical coastal town where you find comfort on a pier embraced by the fog. Get cozy, cuddle up, and prepare for this adventure to begin. This week's sleep story is sponsored by Live Lab, a U.S. and French company founded by ex-insomniacs and sleep experts. If you prefer to listen to sleep stories with headphones, which I recommend, then you know it's hard to find something that feels good throughout the night. Homeband is a comfortable audio headphone with flat speakers so that your ears won't hurt while you're sleeping. Homeband comes with an app, and I've created original sleep stories for them. Some of them include the Magical Igloo, New York Harbor, the Ancient Temple, and the Orient Express. I want to thank them for supporting this sanctuary and for helping my mission to help others dream away. If you want to enjoy these exclusive stories and a night of comfortable sleep, give Homeband a try. Save 25% by using the promo code SANCTUARY. The link is in the description. Welcome to tonight's hypnotic sleep story that will transport you to a mystical pier beneath a starry sky and moon as the fog rolls in off the sea. You are listening to Whispers of the Fog, a soothing bedtime story for grown-ups. Every night at 11, the fog casts the seaside town in a soothing otherworldly haze. As you explore the sleepy village, the fog unveils old dreams and ignites passions and desires as you surrender to its mystical inspiration. You return to a charming two-door cottage and fall into a deep sleep as you find solace and tranquility on this foggy night. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's sanctuary. Let me be your guide and ally as my voice greets you like an old trusted friend every time you need to remember to relax and feel better I am here to support you you know your needs and preferences best so feel free to change any aspects of this meditation and story as we proceed If something doesn't work for you, simply ignore it. Just the same, feel free to enhance anything that meets your fancy. Drift away from my voice and fall asleep whenever you like. There are no rules, and this is a place where you may simply let go. Wiggle, shaking off any remnants of the day, and then get as comfortable as you can. Feel your body become heavy and relaxed, supported by your bed, and safe in this comforting room where you are free to dream. Snuggle beneath your blanket or covers as you remember that your peace of mind and needs are the priority right now. Anything to disrupt this can wait for another time. Align yourself from head to toe 
with a simple intention of feeling good. Feel this intention radiate through your body, making you feel loved and tended to. Pay attention to any tension in your body as you let out a sigh of release and bring softness to those places. Slowly inhale through your nose when you are ready. Imagine the air smells of the sea and feels misty and cool from an incoming fog. The smell transports you instantly. At the top of your breath, you may yawn or go straight into another sigh. Your breath helps you weave between worlds as you go to and from the sanctuary of your room to a seascape in your mind. Enjoy the fluidity of each breath and the freedom it gives you to drift between wakefulness and sleep. As you inhale and sigh, Enjoy this pattern of breathing at your own pace, yawning each time if you like, taking it slower with each breath, exploring how much your body can expand and release without pressure or expectations with a simple ease in this moment that you are cultivating. One more time as you inhale, yawn, and sigh. Return your breath to normal and honor yourself for taking this time just for you. Explore the softness to come with the kind and loving energy you deserve to give yourself always. It's time for the story to begin. How easy it is to feel the world disappear when the fog rolls in and you lose focus of all that once troubled you or took you away from the present moment. It's easy to get blissfully lost in the quietude of the fog, left in the stillness of your mind. In this otherworldly experience, engulfed in the silvery ethereal haze, what is out of sight becomes out of mind. And for a sacred moment, the world disappears and with it all its ails and problems. In a coastal town nestled among rolling hills and sea cliffs that jut against the crashing surf, the arrival of the fog is met with an anticipation akin to the arrival of a beloved visitor this visitor is far from occasional, as it arrives nightly at the stroke of eleven, as predictable as the pendulum 
of a grandfather clock. The gentle mist descends on the pier first, becoming thick as it travels inland and cloaks the town in its quiet persistence. The townspeople, captivated by the enchantment that shrouds their world, gather along the shoreline or peer out their windows to take it in. Their eyes fill with a quiet excitement as they await the ethereal embrace of the mist that ushers them to sleep and the dreams they long to revisit or discover for the first time. For these townspeople, the fog is not merely a meteorological phenomenon. It is an embodiment of inspiration, a conduit of creative energy that stirs the depths of their souls. Early waves of mist weave through the quaint streets and ascend the cliffs like fingers gently slipping over piano keys, playing soothing yet passionate notes. For the first moments, a hushed reverence settles upon the town, as if the very air holds its breath. But as soon as the fog fully envelops the harbor town, a sigh is felt. As if the fog arrives with a permission slip that everyone may surrender. For nearly two centuries, artists, poets, and dreamers emerge minutes past eleven their hearts alight with the promise of newfound muses. Paintbrushes are gracefully lifted, capturing the ephemeral beauty that mystically transforms the coastline. Handwritten words spill upon lush stationery to capture the essence of dreams long forgotten remembered once more. Songs are spontaneously created to resonate with the cadence of distant crashing waves. Underneath a glittering celestial tapestry of pearly white, silver and indigo blue Strown across the night sky, your feet land on the shiny wet sand as the tide comes in. You follow a trail of seashells being called back to the sea. Iridescent sea foam scatters the sand like tiny soap bubbles. And for merely the sake of your own amusement, you draw your name across a sea foam tuft with the tip of your index finger. Much of the beach is dark, except for the reflections of the moon that appear in small tidal pools and give the ocean its sparkle. You walk around a jetty and see the softly flickering lights of a historic pier. The moon, a radiant pearl, nestled in the heart of the sky, hides behind gauzy clouds that come in from the west. The sounds of the ocean echo off the rocky coastline, 
putting you in the center of the swirling sound, joined by the music of the breeze. They resemble intimate whispers, and your mind thinks of the whispers of the fog that most townspeople confess to often hearing. Although these whispers are usually audible incantations of their deepest hopes, the fog somehow inspires them to set these ideas free. As you approach the ancient pier, Weathered by sea, sand, and salty air, you catch sight of the silhouette of an old fisherman and his dog. Their presence is as steadfast as the wooden planks they stand upon, often considered by the locals as an unwavering sentinel the fisherman has not missed a night of fishing since he was a young boy. As you walk closer, a sharper image of him comes into view. His dog rises, wagging its tail, and trots over to greet you, its nails clicking on the wooden planks and paws pitter-pattering. You reach down and run your fingers through the pup's fluffy coat as the fisherman's knotty fingers and calloused palms intertwine with a fishing net. Beneath the light of a lamppost, the fisherman's tanned face showcases lines etched with tales of countless voyages. His eyes are kind, trustworthy, and thoughtful, and reveal he is no stranger to secrets and keeps them well. On this magical night, you can't comprehend why the three of you are the only souls on the pier. If all the world knew about this tranquil spot, surely the coastal highway and beach would overflow with visitors. But you revel having it all to yourself. The fisherman says hello and then looks to the sky in awe. It's an ideal night for wishing on a star, he says, while we can still see him before the fog comes. You think of his routine each night, casting his net in the water and dreams in the sky. His dog settles on a worn flannel blanket folded three times over in a heap and peers out at the surf. And so you make your way to the end of the pier, balancing on the reflective mist-covered planks, enchanted by the sensations, smells, sounds, and storybook allure. A skeptical part of you wonders how the fog could possibly arrive soon as the pristine sky sparkles, a canvas for wishes. A memory comes back of a familiar wish from long ago. Perhaps one of the first wishes you made on a star. 
you place your hands on the damp, weathered railing and feel the soft pulp of the wood against your palms. You arc your body backwards to take in the sky, inhaling deeply as you conjure a wish or two. Perhaps the wish is as simple as feeling this good more often. Maybe it's as straightforward as wishing to feel this connected to the world around you throughout your normal life. You close your eyes and sigh, feeling the contrast between the warm air exiting your lips and the cool salt water air landing on your face. When you open your eyes, the transformation has begun as tendrils of fog slink towards the pier. The fog makes its way around you, first like fingers, and then like comforting arms. It changes from dusty shades of lavender and rose to powder blue and elephant gray. Entranced by the gradual shift of colors, the fog carries you into a realm of dreams and forgotten memories. Within this veiled sanctuary, the fog dances playfully swirling and rising over the shoreline with beguiling grace. It becomes a blank slate upon which old dreams are painted, an unexpected gallery of forgotten aspirations as images of different versions of you appear through time. You walk down the pier, cloaked in the fog, as if walking through a museum of your life. You find yourself traversing the mists of time rediscovering the essence of who you once were and breathing life into dormant passions and desires. But what humbles and thrills you the most is that you can love every version of you uncovered on the gallery walls of the fog. Appreciation flows through you for all you have learned and uncovered in this mysterious journey through life. You realize how so much is unwritten and any thoughts you have about how things should or will be are quite shy of being facts. You can change your thinking any time and the gallery walls begin to change. As you continue to walk down the pier You find different paths revealing themselves, like halls of art in a museum. 
and you get to choose where to go. The fog becomes a veil between reality and the realm of the unknown and invites you to surrender to the ebb and flow of existence. You feel lighter drifting down the pier at the languid pace of the fog like two conspiring partners in the night. And as you come near the shoreline, the fog is so thick that you pause. The world around you disappears for but a moment. And in this haze, you feel grounded, anchored, you feel comfortable allowing the currents of the unknown to guide you, trusting in the boundless potential of each new horizon. Many sailors have come to this harbor town, finding relief in the beacon of light that shines from the highest and oldest tower in the village square. And in their solitude, in this dream-like expanse, they gleaned profound wisdom from the nature of the sea. For a weary soul the lapping waves whisper stories of resilience, urging its listeners to weather life's storms with unwavering strength. The sailors knew that if one doesn't like the direction things are going, then it's time to adjust the sails. And in the stormy times, where things were beyond the sailors' control, they learned to adjust the best they could and make room for surrender. The fog dissipates slightly as you approach the fisherman and his dog. Now packed up for the night, his sweet companion leads you both to the beach. You walk quietly through the fog, communicating without words a shared reverence for nature and the simple beauty around you. The sounds of incoming waves is softened by the fog, once thunderously crashing against the shore, the tide now arrives in susurrations, encouraging and persistent, these whispers let you know you are on the right path. You are doing your best. And you deserve these sacred moments to open your heart and dream. To imagine better. You cordially part ways with the fishermen on the shore with a soft spoken good night. His dog runs a lap around you in the mist, 
before returning to the fishermen as they disappear into the night. The last of the fishing boats have docked their vessels in the harbor for the night, reliant on the predictability of the fog. The lights of the old pier soften in the haze as it looms behind you like an arm, extending the promise of dry land and comfort to sailors and drifters at sea. Enveloped by the fog, you enjoy the mask of anonymity that gives you the freedom to do or be whatever you want in this moment. The fog feels like a confidant, an ally in the night that sets the tone and inspires you to embrace it. You wander up the stone steps to Dock Street, drawn in by the honeyed light that pours out of taverns and cottages. An hour of imaginative play takes hold of the town as musicians softly play their instruments to lend a soothing night song. For some, this creative period of winding down is used to journal or reflect before the stroke of midnight. A time when everyone has exchanged their waking reverie for the welcome dreamscape of the night. The fog with its mysterious allure has become a catalyst for the townspeople's creativity. It whispers tales of forgotten stories breathes life into their deepest yearnings and ignites flames of inspiration and hope. Beneath its misty veil, the coastal town transforms into an artistic oasis where ideas germinate and bloom. The gentle strums of guitars and ukuleles bring haunting melodies carried by the fog through the glistening streets. Dancers twirl and leap through the mist, their movements fluid and graceful as if guided by unseen hands. Sculptors mold clay with deft fingers. Woodworkers carve dreamy nautical designs into foraged logs. And painters diligently cast watery brushstrokes across blank canvases. The fog brings a time of introspection where everyone reconnects with their deepest passions and aspirations. And even those who go to sleep early find themselves awakened when the fog rolls in and fall fast asleep once the hour has passed.
In this moment, you continue to be reflective and introspective. As you observe the boundless inspiration around you, you become open to uncharted creativity and a deep urging to go with the flow. Waterfront cottages and cobblestone streets radiate serene charm. Some of the townsfolk gather by the water's edge to extend a warm welcome to visitors that become fast friends. The locals understand the quietude that accompanies the fog. Recognizing its power to bring tranquility to the restless souls that grace their harbor. Within the taverns along the harbor's edge, stories are shared in hushed tones, like whispers carried by the mist. Solace is found in the gentle murmur of conversations as sleepy souls gather around crackling hearths, savoring warm mugs of tea to exchange tales that transcend the boundaries of time and place. The fog, like a benevolent guardian, permeates through the town, casting a serene ambiance. It softens the edges of reality, edges that need to be softened. In this haven of mist and tranquility, you venture to your two-door cottage. Led by a guiding light that emanates from the old watchtower, you navigate the winding cobblestone lanes. Reflections of the fog and centuries-old cottages appear in puddles you are keen to sidestep. One by one, the lights inside the quaint homes turn off as villagers succumb to sleep. For those returning home like you. You quietly wish one another good night and revel in the profound sense of belonging and community. As you draw near your home, the cozy Tudor cottage emerges from the dusty lavender mist. A smile forms on your face, welcomed by the comforts of this timeless home. The cottage's ivory exterior is adorned with crisscrossing exposed wooden beams, the rich color of chocolate. Ivy drapes down the facade, dancing on the soft breeze, adding vibrant pops of emerald green that cut through the fog. 
rustic wood window boxes overflow with purple petunias. Their delicate petals brushing against the fog-kissed panes. Lilac shrubs line the brick walkway to the front door, punctuating the silvery fog with clusters of light purple. Their floral perfume marries the briny smell of the sea that comes in with the fog. You ascend the stairs to the heavy wooden door. Your hand grasps the cast iron handle, a touch conjuring a sense of solidity and history. As the door slowly opens into the entryway, it reveals an interior design customized to your preferences. Old world charm merges seamlessly with modern comforts. You remove your shoes and sweep your tired feet into plush slippers. Every corner of the cottage contains intricate woodwork and hand-carved details. And decades past their creation, the loving energy of the artisans who created them still permeates the home. The dry, warm air of the cottage offers a cozy refuge from the fog-laden night outside. You enjoy the contrast between the two. Your sense of appreciation elevated as a yawn creeps in. A roaring fire crackles in the hearth casting an orange-gold glow on the plush sofa and antique coffee table. The warm tones and dry air banish the chill of night and cause your muscles to soften and release. You slip down a hallway toward the bedroom suite, and the fog glides around the windows that lead the way. The door opens to reveal a grand four-poster bed with intricately carved wood depicting nautical themes. The bed is covered with fluffy blankets and a mountain of pillows. Through the sheer curtains, you see the fog waft above a creek that runs through the back of the property. Condensation forms on the multi-paned windows and a few droplets of water stream down the glass. The fog weaves and undulates, inviting you to surrender to the promise of slumber, as most of the townspeople have already done. You feel shielded from the world outside, comforted as the fog creates a cocoon of tranquility within the cottage. 
once prepared in your favorite bedclothes. Having gone through a familiar bedtime routine, you settle into the bed. Flickering firelight creates shadows on the walls in a tempo that contrasts the slow, slithering fog. Together they offer a sense of balance as contentment washes over you and you adjust the tempo of your mind. As the fog continues its mystical dance outside, you find solace in the embrace of dreams. And as it has been throughout time, the Tudor cottage is a haven of peace, making you feel safe deep within your bones as you slowly drift to sleep. You rub your cheek against the sateen pillowcase, feeling the cool fabric as you inhale the faint aroma of clean laundry. As the fog weaves its magic through the coastal town until the beckoning of dawn, everyone finds comfort in sleep. And while they will awaken rejuvenated with a sense of purpose, the absence of the fog come morning brings a bittersweet longing. But like sleep, and the comforts of bed. Everyone knows the fog will return once more to usher them into the haven of dreams. And so they do their best to enjoy their day. As you dream like the kind souls who share this night. Your mind is nourished by the whispers of inspiration born from the fog. Gracefully drifting from one dream to the next. And as sleep claims you, carried upon the whispers of the fog. You surrender to the restorative embrace of the night, knowing that within these walls, tranquility and rejuvenation await ready to guide you into a world of sweet dreams. Finding bliss, finding comfort, finding peace, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night.